Joining me now is Rabbi Pincus Taylor. Rabbi, on the first anniversary of the horrific October 7 terrorist attacks on Israel, I'm interested in how you see the Jewish community today, the response in the West from many quarters must surely be salt in the wounds to see so much anti-Semitism from the left in particular on university campuses, in major cities, marches week in, week out, from segments of the arts community. How does the Jewish community cope with that after such a devastating blow on October 7? Well, sure, Rita, and, and thank you again for, for having me back. I think the the theme of this year has been resilience and coming together. One of the things noticed tremendously in the Jewish community since October 7th last year is that despite the fact that our oppressors came to destroy us and came to ruin us, and then uh, the, the theme of anti-Semitism spread across Europe and across the West uh, at large, in particular on college campuses, I've seen resilience beyond my wildest dreams of the Jewish community coming together in ways that I've never seen in my lifetime. Uh, people on the left and the right, the religious, the not religious, all trying to get connected with their heritage once more. And so, although it was, although it's, it's still gut wrenching to to watch, to and to see the the, the continued aftermath, especially on college campuses. Uh, it is uh, the sil we do find a silver lining that it has brought the Jewish community tremendously together. Now, the uh, Jewish community we know is very diverse uh, politically and in, in in how they see the world, but I do wonder about how united it is in Israel in wanting to defeat Hamas and Hezbollah, because we have seen these mass protests and. I'm interested to know whether you believe those are really aimed at Benjamin Netanyahu, they're not happy with his leadership, or are Israelis split on the war effort as well? Well, my understanding, I live in the United States, and my understanding is, like any issue, there's a lot of layers to, to everything. And what I mean by that is that I understand that there's a, a large amount of people that understandably want the first priority to be on bringing the hostages home and that has always been a, a central part of this this mission uh, as as a whole uh, and then there are, there are there are quite a number of people I think we are we're pretty united on the fact that we want that this should never happen again we don't want another October 7th I mm. think you see Israel finally sort of weeding out all of the all of the would-be oppressors and would-be antagonizers and saying enough is enough we're not gonna mm -hmm. we're not gonna live in fear we're not gonna have this continue to happen we are united on the front of eliminating the cause that caused this all in the first place but the cause the funders of these terror groups whether it's Hamas or Hezbollah we know is the Iranian regime and while it remains in power, is Israel always going to be under this threat? Uh, I, I certainly hope not. And um, I was watching a speech from uh, Bibi Netanyahu last week. Uh, you, you probably saw it as well. Probably many of the viewers uh, saw it where Bibi speaks directly to the Iranian people and, and says very frankly, like Ronald Reagan used to do and speak to the Russians directly, the, 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 the civilians, the people, said that our issue is not with you. The, the Iranian people uh, are not happy under the, the current regime. But Bibi said a line in there that was, that was very um, interesting, somewhat comforting. Um, I, we, I think a lot of us feel like we're in the middle of a movie watching and, and seeing what's gonna, what's gonna happen next. Um, but he said, the words that he said was that the end of the Iranian regime is coming a lot sooner than many might think. And uh, I don't know exactly what to, to make mm. from that, but that, that idea of having a free Iran where the Iranian people who have been oppressed for several decades at this point should be able to live in freedom again, I'm very happy and optimistic about that potential opportunity being uh, in the near future. Well, let's hope so. Rabbi Pinkus Taylor, thank you so much for your time this evening. Thank you again for having me.